Hey everybody, it's me. And if you've been following any of my posts, you realize that I've been in love with the new fetch column, or really the fetch, yeah, fetch column that is now a plugin on the Glide website. Um, and if you've been using the fetch column at all, you notice that there is a slight delay. I mean, like a one second or so, possibly two or three second delay um, for it to retrieve the data set and parse it down. Um, before you have an output in the app. And in order to mitigate any user confusion, what I did was is I created an animated GIF of a spinner that displays while things are fetching. And so here you see that I have a search box. In the search box, I can search for a title or an author, an ISBN. And there's a, probably a one second delay between uh, when I go to search for a title and the actual book to appear. And so I don't want there to be some sort of confusion like, I, is this doing anything, right? So I do have an animated GIF of a spinner here, and you'll see that in just a second. Uh, let's search for, oh my goodness, I don't even know, a uh, spot. See that animated GIF? <laughs> and then the spot book appears. All right, um, how about, um, other groups. All right. All right. So the way that you get that spinner to work is you just find any animated GIF that you want and you place it in an image component just like this. And then you set the visibility condition of that image to appear. Oop, not this one. It would be this one. Okay. So it appears when this text box, whatever it is that you're fetching, right? When that is not empty, but when the fetched content is empty, because that's the gap in the fetched content where you're typing something in, it's not empty. And the fetched content isn't there yet, it is empty. And so while those two conditions are true, then you display the image. And again, you can pick any animated GIF that you want, um, find something that matches your theme of your app. Um, what I like to do is I like to pick one and then use like some GIF editors out there that I can transform the color of to uh, let me change the color of that GIF so it matches my app theme moving forward. So hopefully this tutorial is helpful. And if you have any questions, just let me know.